restless Oh, they're so good Oh, they're so sweet We love our Somalis We love our Muslims Oh, they're so good Oh, they're so sweet We love our Somalis We love our Muslims Oh, they're so good Airport oh, officials so say an average of 12 people each month are denied taxi service at the airport because they are carrying alcohol. About three quarters of the 900 airport taxi drivers are from the East African country of Somalia, and they are mostly Muslim. It is against of my religion, and and I don't think that I can carry somebody who has an alcohol. No, no. we're here. You can talk, well, you can talk to us as a girl. The reason I ask you to talk to you, yeah, because I have seen you many times and talked to you. That's why. Sure. Uh, I, we're I, always. I'll come out here. So. Yeah, I'm, but, I'm just uh, like we this being audio record. We record everything. That's like, okay. We, we, do, we do the same thing. <laughs> that's fine. You know, I work here all the time, and I see you. I'm familiar with you a lot. Sure. And uh, today, the sidewalks already having their own issue because of the construction. Yeah. And yeah, then also, your crowd get this. bigger, and you made the sidewalk a lot smaller. Yeah. So I will appreciate. This is America. You, uh, this isn't Sharia. Are you Muslim? Sir, oh, Paul, hold on. I'm not. I'm not done. talking to you. Can I talk to him? Yeah, Paul, hold on, hold on. Paul, hold on, hold on. Can I please respect? Can I? Can I please respectfully talk to him? No, if if, I, if you want to talk to me, I can talk to you. Is he the leader here? I don't want to disrespect him. You know, if someone is the leader, I mean, what our understanding of the law is, if we're not blocking the sidewalk. Okay. You, you guys are wiping from the past. You made the sidewalk a lot smaller, and then all the two people are here. And then all the two people are here. And then all the two people are here. Do you feel more comfortable living under American law, or do you feel more comfortable living under uh, Sharia law? Uh, Sharia law. I'm a Muslim, I prefer Sharia law. Right. Sharia law, yes. Sir. You prefer uh, Sharia law over American law? Of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. And do you find most of your friends uh, say, feel the same way? Yeah, of course, if you're Muslim, yeah. yeah. Sharia law, it says if you steal something, they cut off your hand. So basically, they can leave their doors, their stores, doors open. Nobody's going to steal anything because the Sharia is so tight. Usually, they, they don't do anything. The smallest things usually have big consequences. We had a hard time finding people in the Cedar Riverside neighborhood who spoke English. We're here with Fox News just doing a story about the Riverside area. No English? The Islamic schools in here in Minnesota. They teach Sharia law. Yeah, Sharia law. And what do they teach also American law, the U.S. Constitution? Mm, actually, I have no idea about that one. We love our Somalis. We love our Muslims. Oh, they're so good. A series of brazen and cowardly assaults on young and old alike, riding their bikes, running, or simply walking down the street. What happened was a crime. They were assaulted. Between 20 and 30 young men showed up in front of her house around 9.30 in the morning, and the comments turned to threats. They were screaming at their house that they were going to kidnap me and we're going to rape you. It was just a, a very traumatizing experience. The report indicates that these guys were driving onto the sidewalk and on the lawn, all while shooting off bottle rockets and screaming. It's a scary thought, especially for those who have young children. After a woman's burqa got caught in a boot washer two weeks ago, if they don't like our color or they don't like our religion, I think so. Is radicalization still going on right now? Are, are Somali youth still being recruited by ISIS as we speak? Yes. We love our Somalis. We love our Muslims. Oh, they're so good. Oh, they're so sweet. My name is Betsy Hodges. I'm running for mayor of Minneapolis. Minneapolis is a great city. I'm proud of the work I've been doing on the city council the last eight years to make sure that we are the best city we can be, but the best is yet to come. But I know that to be the greatest city, we must be an inclusive city, knowing that our future depends on everybody, 
everybody sitting at the table to build the Minneapolis of the future, and that is my commitment to you as mayor. In the first 100 days, I will hire someone from the community in my office to make sure that I have the eyes and ears of the community right there in City Hall with me, but also that I have eyes and ears and myself out in the community. I will put together a Somali board of advisors to make sure crucial issues are getting addressed right away in housing, education, employment, health. All the crucial issues for the community are being uh, handled well and addressed through my office. I look forward to working with you as mayor for the next four years. And today, I humbly ask you for your support and for your vote in November. Thank you. Mogadishu 